Do you want to attract wildlife into your yard? Do you want to support biodiversity but don't know where to start? I'm going to show you how to easily create more native plants to support biodiversity and wildlife. Wildlife depends on native plant communities that have largely been replaced by lawns and ornamental species, which do not support wildlife. We can start to reverse this problem by planting more native plant species. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made more pussy willow plants from stem cuttings of hardwood in the winter. What is the wildlife value of the pussy willow? The pussy willow is a larval host plant of at least 18 species of butterflies and moths, including the Io moth, the morning cloak butterfly, and the eastern swallowtail butterfly. The pussy willow is an important early source of food for pollinators because the pussy willow is in flower before most plants in early spring. The larvae of insects that feed on the pussy willow are an important source of food for many breeding birds. The pussy willow is an easy to care for shrub or small tree. It loves moist, rich, well-draining soil and does well in full sun to part shade. It is native to the Northeast US and Canada. The pussy willow can easily be identified in the spring by its characteristic fuzzy catkins. To identify the pussy willow in winter, look for its long straight branches and catkins that are largely enclosed in a shell-like cover. If you're not sure how to identify the pussy willow, I recommend using iNaturalist, a free app which I will link in the description box. This is the pussy willow I'm going to be taking some branches from, about one foot length branches. So I'm going to start. Here are the pussy willow stems that I cut from the garden. They're actually more like two feet, um, one and a half to two feet. And I'm gonna place them in the jar of water. And I'm putting them on a high shelf um, and they'll remain there for uh, a couple of months. So this is the result a little bit more than a month or five weeks later. The hardwood stem cuttings of the pussy willow, you can see there's a lot of root growth. There is green growth, leaves on every, every single stem. I've read that you can plant these out in February in a sheltered location. I'm going to plant half of them in a sheltered location outside and half of them in pots inside. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So um, in about a month, we have six new pussy willow plants. So that is an easy way to make more native plants. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will be back soon with more tips and instructions on how to create more native plants.